Hey everyone, this week we will be going over some MLB Park Factor stuff as well as um, getting some hitter stat lines from StatCast. So we're going to see like what kind of hitters are better in say hitter friendly environments or pitcher friendly environments or if they're good in neutral environments, but we can be able to see that with this code. So we'll get right into it. Let's start by loading our libraries, of course. So we'll start by loading Baseball R and Tidyverse so that we have both of those out of the way. And then again, um, in previous videos, I show you how to install Baseball R and Tidyverse. So uh, watch one of those to get those into your library. So we have now our Tidyverse library and baseball are loaded and then we will load in our statcast data set so load in statcast and i call it savant um, from a previous video i wrote it as savant.csv strings as factors equals false um, again i have two videos which is one is um, get all the statcast data with some simple stats, steps and then as well, a recently published one that also shows you how to get StatCast data. So watch those if you don't have a CSV file already of StatCast data. So that way you do have that CSV file and then come back to this video. Now that we have our StatCast data set loaded in, we can use functionality from, again, Bill Petty's Baseball R package. And so I will do just park factors. So we will do exactly that. So I'll say PF, we'll call it in a data frame, and then fangraphs underscore park and this past season so we have this data set available and ready to go of basic five-year park factors three-year one-year single double triple so on and so forth um, but we can actually be you can kind of see that there's a little bit of a difference between home team and then the home team abbreviation with statcast so again another way to be able to quickly see the savant data because it's a, such a large data set we can create a sample so i just call it sample and then savant piping operator sample and and we'll say just 10 random samples and we can view this random sample and i mean looking at it we have there's a slight difference so we have home team as an abbreviation and here home team as the full name so what we're going to do next is essentially figure out what the abbreviations are, one, and then two, create a data frame where it gives you the home team and then the abbreviations as well. So we can merge those together. So first we're going to get team abbreviations. So call this get team abbreviations. And then I'll just say ABBR in all caps, unique, savant home team and then we can view it by just calling ABBR and so we have those 30 teams so I have this data frame where it gives you the full home team name and then as well as its abbreviations so we can merge it a lot easier so I just call DF data frame and then every home team name this code will be on my github page so you don't have to kind of go through each step of the process. Now what we're going to do is merge the data frame with uh, the park effects. So we'll just say merge data frames. And how we do that is we'll say PF merge X equals PF Y equals DF since that's what we called it here. And we'll say by home team. Then we go back into our PF data set and we have the abbreviations for every team, which then allows us to insert the park effects for the StatCast data. But first, what I'll do is we'll get rid of most of the columns for now. You can, you can adjust this later if you'd like, but I'll just select the basic five-year park factors and then I want to rename home team as lowercase abbr so when we have this go back into it now we have the abbreviations where then we can merge with the statcast data so how we do that is we'll say 
do another merge and we'll say savant merge x equals savant y equals park factor and we'll say buy home team and then we want every bit of stat cast data so we just want to say all x equals true and then after that runs we'll be able to then go into our sample or create a sample of our data set to see if it actually functioned so now that that's done we'll run this again go into our sample as we can see the merge allows the home team to be first or the first column i should say go all the way to the end and it looks like we do have part factors ready to go now we will go into our kind of what what exactly what stat lines we're pulling so what i'll do is create three different um data frames if you will and show you what kind of stat lines are pulling from hitter friendly parks pitcher friendly parks and neutral parks so just say stat lines and first we'll do pitcher friendly so pitcher friendly and this is from baseball r so we'll say stat line from Statcast. And then we'll say savant, which is our data set. And then within it, we'll call a filter. And we'll say basic five year, which is the park factor, is less than 100. And then within that call, we want only contact plays. So our base will be contact. So we'll run this. And I'll show you that. So in 2019, this is all from Hitter Friendly Parks. It looks like that there are 58,202 balls in play, 11,868 singles, 3,775 doubles, so on and so forth. And then batting average, OBP, slugging, OPS, and WOBA, or I should say WOBA on contact. Um, that's a good metric to measure. So look that up. It's essentially weighted on base average, but only for contact plays, hence WOBACon. Now we'll do the rest for hitter friendly and neutral park so again stat line from Statcast, savant since that's our baseball savant data set filter basic five year is greater than 100 call that and then i'll just say any u which is neutral copy and paste this stat line from Statcast, basic five year equals 100 and again contact we'll call any u so run these and we'll display it. So it looks like a neutral park, the Wilbacons 378, hitter friendly park, Wilbacons 389, um, which I mean, it should be linear as such because again, hitter friendly parks should consist of more runs. It looks like that Woba increases by 12 points as uh, as each grouping shifts. So from pitcher friendly to neutral, it shifts, to, uh, looks like 13 points. Whereas it shifts from neutral to hitter friendly, it shifts up 12 points. So you may get from j just based on this from the 2019 season, if you play more in say a neutral or hitter friendly park, based on your basic park, your Wobacon may shift up in 12 points. And again, OPS increases, um, slugging increases, things of that nature. All right, so now what we're gonna do is create essentially a custom function that allows us to get the data of this kind of stuff, you know, between hitter-friendly, neutral, and pitcher-friendly parks of a certain player. So how we're going to do that is create a custom function. So I'll just say custom function in this one. And I will say get stat line by environment. We'll call this function. And we'll say df name. And then I'll say environment. Can't spell environment. Environment equals neutral in quotes lowercase n so now how we're going to do this is we're going to say dfa equals df piping operator filter 
and then within that stack has data set player name equals name and then going on from there we'll doing lowercase hitter friendly dfa filter basic five year is greater than 100 and then we'll again go for pitcher friendly dfa filter basic five years less than 100 and then neu dfa filter can't spell filter right now basic five year equals 100 so that way we have both hitter friendly pitcher friendly and neutral environments and then what we'll do next is create an if statement we're going to create an if statement based on that environment. So if environment equals neutral, then we'll do this. We'll just say, we'll call it S line equals stat line from statcast NEU base equals contact. So that way we'll have the stat cast stat line of neutral parks and then we'll do another if so we'll say else if environment equals we'll say hitter and we'll do again s line copy and paste this except change the neu data frame to hitter friendly since that's what we called up here and again, another else if environment equals pitcher, so a pitcher friendly environment, then we'll say S line stat cast, stat line from stat cast PF as our park factor. And then lastly, since we want to return something, we will call that function return, return S line. So we'll have this, so when we run this uh, function, we'll have to insert data frame, which is StatCast, or in this case, um, yeah, which is Savant, name, which is player name, so any MLB hitter, and then which environment do we want? Do we want a neutral environment, hitter friendly, or pitcher friendly? So now we run this. And then I'll show you a basic example. So I did make a slight error. I misspelled environment up here. So if you did start watching this, you might have tried to get a little bit ahead and you might have re received an error. But we'll rerun this code. So we'll have that function and then get correctly explained. So now we will say get stat line by environment which is the function that we called. And the data frame that we want is Savant from our stat cast. And then the player, since I'm a big Cardinals fan, Matt Carpenter will say, and then environment equals neutral. So we'll run this, give it a second to load because it's obviously going filtering and then scraping. So looks like 2019, Matt Carpenter had 40 batted balls in a neutral environment, nine singles, two doubles, four home runs. He hit 375, slugging percentage 725, and a Wobicon of 451, which is in the neutral environment, 378, and a slugging of 584. So above average there. Now let's do, we'll say pitcher. So pitcher friendly environments how does Matt Carpenter do in pitcher friendly environments so not that great uh, below average actually so we'll go into our PF pitcher friendly and we can see that he's below average on Woba contact by six points but he has an higher, higher OPS so he has a higher slugging percentage um, but a lower OBP so looks like that in terms of Woba, or excuse me, no, he has a higher batting average OBP, but a lower slugging. So 
it looks like he, in, say, pitcher-friendly parks, he doesn't really hit for much power, which makes sense. Um, so, let's again say hitter-friendly parks. So, hitter. Run this. And he doesn't do, wow. So, Matt Carpenter really struggles at hitter-friendly parks um, compared to league average. So, he only hit, he had a Wobicon of 330, only hit 253, and an OPS of 819. So, I don't know. Maybe at uh, hitter-friendly ballparks, um, Matt Carpenter's maybe thinking too much. I don't know. But uh, we can see, create this code, and then we can do so many other players. So, like Christian Yelich. We can see how Christian Yelich did in hitter-friendly environments. So, run this. I mean, Christian Yelich is Christian Yelich. So, he hit 35 home runs in hitter-friendly environments. I don't know off the top of my head how many home runs he actually hit in 2019 before the season was cut short but then we got a neutral environment seven home runs so looks like most of his home runs which i mean kind of makes sense are in hitter friendly environments and then pitcher friendly environments he had also another seven home runs so did he really hit 49 home runs huh that's interesting so I will look into that, but you can still kind of see, <coughs> to be able to see how hitters fared in certain environments. We can actually continue and add more names. So we can look at Cody Bellinger as well, and we can say a neutral park environment. So we can run this. And it looks like in a neutral environment, Cody Bellinger's Wobicon was 537, and he slugged 943 in a neutral environment. Um, and we can say, pitcher friendly. Run this. Cody Bellinger had a 453 Woba in pitcher friendly environments. And then in hitter friendly environments, Cody Bellinger had a 518 weighted on base average. So, even though there's not as many batted balls, Cody Bellinger did better at neutral parks than he did at hitter-friendly environments. So this is this is some pretty cool stuff. Um, I like to see this a lot. You can make inferences and kind of let's plot a visualization too. So what I'll do is I'll say um, I'll just say say C B H um, C B P and then CBN, and then we'll say tot. So here's what we'll do. We will do these um, functions again for Cody Bellinger, and we'll decide, okay, well, what if we want a pitcher-friendly environment? And what if we want a hit hitter-friendly environment? And then we can be able to plot those stat lines or a stat line of your choosing. So we'll say hitter, pitcher, and then neutral. So we'll run all these, and then they'll be stored in there. And then in this tot data frame, we'll do an R bind, CBH, CBP, CBN. We can add a column called environment. And specify it of environment so we have hitter pitcher and neutral so that way we have the environment column as well now what we can do is create a basic plot and how we do that is we'll call ggplot and we'll say tot aes x equals environment so we know which environment it's in y equals woba and then we'll say fill equals batted balls so we have the amount of batted balls i want this in a column so gm call and then we'll add a title and we'll say cody bellinger 
Wobacon by environment. Then our subtitle can be colored by added balls. So we can run this. We can see that Cody Bellinger in 2019 had a higher Wobacon in a neutral park environment, though with fewer batted balls, than a hitter friendly environment. Thanks for watching. Really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like and subscribe for future content and uh, tune in next time and we'll go over some more really cool stuff with, with baseball related data. Thanks for watching.